right. For number six, taking the antiderivative of inverse sine of x dx, we talked about derivatives of inverse trig functions um, last section, but we didn't talk about their antiderivatives. So we're going to have to use u um, and dv with integration by parts to figure this one out. Now there's only two parts here, inverse sine of x and the dx. So we don't know the antiderivative of inverse sine, so obviously that has to go over here as part of our u, and we need to have the dx as part of our dv. So that's how we're going to split it up. du, the derivative of inverse sine, that's one we did not too long before break, that's going to be 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And antiderivative of 1 dx is just going to be x. So we have the parts we need to set this up. We're going to have u times v minus antiderivative of v du. So that gives us x times inverse sine of x minus the antiderivative of x over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now, looking at this one, it kind of looks a little bit like the inverse sine part, but with that x, it changes things. All right, we can't use the inverse sine. Actually, just going to be simple u substitution. If we set the 1 minus x squared equal to u, our du is going to be negative 2x dx. And that's going to take this x and dx. We're going to multiply by negative 2. That's going to give us our du. But then we have to multiply the outside by negative 1 half. So it's going to be like positive 1 half with that negative there. And now this part is going to become our du. And this part is going to become our u. So we end up with x times inverse sine of x plus 1 half times antiderivative of 1 over square root of u, which is the same as u to the negative 1 half du. So antiderivative of u to the negative 1 half, we're going to add 1 to the exponent. So it becomes u to the 1 half. And then multiply by the reciprocal of this new exponent. So 2 times the 1 half, that's just going to give us 1. We need to remember our plus c. And then we need to finalize our answer by putting it in terms of x. So we don't want this left as u. We get x times inverse sine of x plus square root of 1 minus x squared plus c.